A unique abandoned building has sat along Spring Street in Wilkesbury for nearly two decades. It's left many who drive by with questions about what it was supposed to be and why it never came to be. Newswatch 16's Melissa Steiniger is one of those people with that very same question, and she got some answers when she tracked down a woman who has a giant sized coffee dream. Thousands of people drive past this unique building on Spring Street in Wilkes-Barre. It's boarded up and long abandoned, just like the dream behind it. People go and take their pictures, pose by it, and uh, it's, uh, it's like a landmark now. As it sits and sits as it has for nearly two decades, people have come up with their own theories about what exactly this building was supposed to be. Some people, they'll ask about it, you know, um, people thought it was a missile silo at one time. <laughs> And even the youngest neighbors have their own ideas. It's supposed to be a tea or coffee shop. Like, they would sell tea and coffee here. It was a really big thing before, but then the owner just decided to leave it. Something like that. It was a dream I had, kind of like an epiphany. You know, that I wanted to have a drive through espresso cafe in the shape of a coffee cup. Amy Zerwich was the mind behind the building back in 2003 at just 23 years old. It took me a year to write this. As a business student at Luzerne County Community College, she worked to create an entire business plan, one that she still holds on to 20 years later. Well, I put all my eggs in my first basket, to tell you the truth. Amy called her business Cup of Heaven, and the actual plan was just as big as the dream itself. And I want people to experience everything when they pull up to this building that's steaming out the top, and the, the smell of the fresh roasted coffee is being pushed through air curtains out the windows, and they can smell it. And in 2005, Amy's hopes began to rise as the building on Spring Street in Wilkes-Barre began to take shape. Every door was opening, and I felt great, like, Dreams can come true for, you know, poor girls. But that's where things went horribly wrong. Amy paid a contractor $200,000 to construct a building shaped like the coffee cup. The work got started in 2008, but never finished. By the time she found another contractor, the banks had backed out because of the housing crash that same year. And when all was said and done, Amy was nearly a half a million dollars in debt. I let it suck me dry so bad that I lost my house, my rental property, my foster kids, my car, everything. I she tried to switch her focus. She started a coffee shop, City Perk, in Pittston. After a couple years there, she closed the business and moved to North Carolina to start over. Today, she lives in Bloomsburg, where we talked over what else but a cup of coffee. I would do everything good for the earth. And while it took over a decade for Amy to pay off that debt, the dream on Spring Street never faded. She, like those who pass by, still holds on to hope. I drive by often. If hopefully someday someone will make something of it. I mean, it'd be cool if someone bought it. Then it'd be really cool. It's, then my dad would have somewhere to buy coffee at. That's not super expensive. An abandoned building and a dream we now know is still very much alive. I'm looking again. You know, after the housing crash, it was impossible to find more investors. And since the pandemic, it's been really hard. But I'm going to keep trying. And a mission to buy back a giant coffee-sized dream. Melissa Steininger, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.